My name is Stuart Bullington. I'm a chief housing planner for the city's housing and community development department. This particular development that we're on today is 47 units on the old municipal stadium site. It includes some features as detached garages, which create a whole diff different atmosphere for the housing units, uh, alleyways, new streets. We're in the southern edge of the Beacon Hill project. Uh, it's Behind me is the Forest Avenue Redevelopment Project. It's a KC Go project, about $3.1 million to provide stormwater uh, benefits through the next the two block area, and then create about 28 single family housing developments. And the houses are designed to uh, market for about $165,000. The special features of, these, of the financing is that the land will be a subsidy to all the purchasers of this site. Uh, Beacon Hill is, again, it's a, it's a redevelopment project like many of our other projects, like Monarch Manor, which started uh, also in 1995. It is a subdivision with 47 housing units. How the market is catching up with that Lincoln High, is, or Lincoln Prep is, is a big attraction over in that area, 18th and Vine, the East Patrol. Uh, that's what adds to these projects, is building around strength, and uh, they all take a long time. Well, this is the Millhouse project. It's 181 units, about $20 million. 10,000 uh, 10, square feet of retail on the corner of Truist and 27th. And uh, like I said, it's a real signature project for that corner. Beacon Hill Development is one of the largest urban redevelopment projects in the country. We're now over about 500 housing units here in Beacon Hill, both affordable, senior, and market rate. It's a good mix of housing. And uh, like I said, it's one of the, the projects that the city took on and we've endeavored never to quit on it. So um, we've, we're gonna finish this and it's gonna be a great place in Kansas City to live. Mm -hmm.